Hi everybody, I am Isha. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe it. I am Isha, living in Northern Territory, Darwin. I'm the only female YouTuber in Darwin. Thank you so much for giving me so much love on the last video that I made, which was related to challenges that you might face in Darwin. So I'm back with a new video this time. I've got all my notes prepared for you. Because in my this video, I am going to discuss about the myths which are related to Darwin. I get a lot of messages every day and where people are asking me about a couple of things like whether there are jobs in Darwin, what about the crocodiles in Darwin, what about the weather in Darwin. So I have got everything prepared for you if you're interested, if you're interested to move to Darwin or if you're already in Darwin or if you're interested to move to some regional area in Darwin, this video is made for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let me know in the comment section that what you want to see next. I will be there back with a soon video, with a new video soon, all right. So the first thing that I have heard, like I get a lot of messages, that is jobs. What about jobs in Darwin? Since jo Darwin is a regional area, so everyone thinks that there are no jobs in Darwin. Now let me explain you that how it works over here. In Darwin, we have two seasons. One is dry season and the other one is wet season. When I came to Darwin, I came in the busiest season, which is the dry season, where when there are lots and lots of job opportunities in Darwin. But I have heard this from people, and I am just going to tell you a couple of examples as well, where people do some other job in dry season, and then they're doing, then they're going to do some other job in the wet season because of the demand. Now. Now let me explain you, I just went for uh, for an event or a festival sort of a thing at India at Mindel and over there I saw, uh, uh, if you have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, you must have seen that I got a tattoo over there, uh, a tattoo over here with some glitters. If you do not follow me on Instagram, you can also do that. I'll just put the link in my description box. It is from Ibaj Isha. So oh, I was just asking them that, okay, this is dry season right now. That's why you're doing this. Obviously, you must be getting a lot of work. You must be going to different events, into different circuses to, you know, do all these tattoos and those sticker things on the face, like face painting sort of a thing. And then what do you do in the wet season when there are no tourists, no such jobs? So she said that obviously she's going to, she said that she's going to work in Coles or maybe in Woolworths when there will be no job. So it basically depends on which season you are moving to Darwin, in which season you're moving to Darwin because job opportunities are going to vary. Number two, if I talk about my school where I work, there uh, I talk to people. See, there are people who feel, I also have this perspective. It's just been two, two and a half months that I've moved to Darwin. And I also have this perspective that obviously everyone comes to the regional area just to get PR, yeah? Because obviously you get your permanent residency easily over here. You need less points over here. I will be making a video on that. Then do you get resi permanent residency in Darwin at 65 points or not? Stay tuned for that. But see, people come over here. To, full, to complete the points, to get PR, and then they think that they're gonna migrate to some new state. I'm just telling you what I've heard from others. So I was just talking to one of the IT employer over here in my school. So he, I, I asked him that how, how long you have been in Darwin. So he said that he has been in Darwin for the past 12 years. And I said that why are you not, why? And he, he is a citizen over here. He was from Pakistan. So why I said that why are you not migrating to some other city? You know, it's very easy for you. <coughs> he said, the job opportunities, the pay scale, the government job that I have in Northern Territory, I am not able to get that anywhere else. This city, this state is going to clinch you like this and you know it is going to screw you tight just because of the jobs, because of the government jobs. Even I, I bought a car from somebody and that lady was telling me that from past 10 years she has been living in Darwin, she also has a government job and obviously she was a citizen over here and she can also move. But then she didn't. She can't, she is not moving it. Why she she's not moving? The reason behind that is because of her job. She said that the job that I have right now over here, the position that I am, I really don't want to leave that because I'm not getting that opportunity in any other state at such a good pay scale. So it basically depends. So you know what? And also there are a couple of factors. I was teaching back in India, so I had experience. Then I, I, I was, I was teaching IELTS and PT back in India, so I, I know how to do all those things. So definitely, I, I, I've just started my own thing. I've started teaching IELTS and PT, and so it also depends 
then if you're moving from some other state let's assume you're moving from sydney adelaide or some other state obviously you must be having some experience of some hospitality jobs or whatever jobs you want to do so you are having some experience of it yeah so it completely depends on what your profile is and so you know what why i'm just talking about all these things the reason behind that is because i don't want that somebody is coming to darwin and if you're not able to get a job and you will be like cursing me and you'll be saying that oh she was the one who said that you're gonna get a job and i haven't got one so i feel that uh and according to whatever i have observed and whatever i've talked to people around me i feel that it's there are lots and lots of job opportunities in dry season but definitely when i'll move ahead to wet, wet season uh you know super soon so i will be updating you regarding that that what are the job opportunities so usually it is said that if you want to move to darwin move in dry season because you'll get to see lots and lots of things okay so um mm -mm -mm, let me just see that whether i've covered everything or not yeah one more thing that i just wanted to add one more thing that i've written see i'll tell you the job opportunities over here again one more example that i want to add that when i um just uh, you know uh, i've seen people i've seen somebody who is working in some xyz company as a driver and then over there in their company there is such a shortage of employees that they said that if you're going to recruit if you're going to help us to find one more driver over here and it was such a reputed company believe me for that if you're going to help me to recruit one more if you're going to help us to recruit one more employee over here we're going to give you a cash prize of $1000 and even i saw on uh, facebook some facebook group that if i will help somebody to employ a teacher in some xyz school i will be given a cash prize of $1000 so that shows that there is such a deficiency you can say of uh, you know of skilled employees and uh, skilled employees over here that you are you can easily grab a job if you have that skill and if you have really if you if you're really passionate and you have the zeal to actually get that one all right so but one thing i would like to add again see when i moved to darwin it uh, being a like if i have to teach in some school i need an orca card that's also known as working with children card so to do that documentation it took me one month you know i applied for it and then i have to wait for it and then it came and then i was able to start with my work so just keep this in your mind that before after you're going to come to darwin there are a lot of there is actually a lot of documentation that you have to do to apply for any job there are lots and lots of forms then you have to do their online courses and then the videos and then they then you're going to get a job maybe you can even find it early i'm not trying to demotivate you in any sense i'm just giving you my example that and even i've heard from other people that when you move to in then your driving license is going to take a lot of time over here if you want to upgrade it to uber uh, x and uh, you know and all those things maybe h and c endorsement and whatever stuff i will be making a new video on uber as well that what all you need if you want to do uber x here in darwin so all these things are to be kept in mind and then you know so that is the complete job scenario so i just want to bust up this myth that there are no jobs in darwin it's it's absolutely a crap it's not like that all right let's move ahead to second thing which is weather darwin darwin's weather absolutely darwin is hot i won't say that <coughs> you know having sweat is normal over here if you're out in the afternoon there is no air con and if you're out, out during the daytime as well or in uh, somewhere in the you know mid of the evening you will be sweaty there's a lot of heat over here there's a lot of sun over here i've also got tan so that is but but when i came to darwin even if you'll see my first vlog in darwin when i just moved from sydney to darwin the in that first vlog i'm saying that as soon as i just landed from a flight in darwin i said that it's lots and lots of humidity yeah so it is humid there is humidity you will feel something is there in the air which is different but with time you'll get used to it with time it will be normal to you you will get adaptable to it it's not that much that you won't be able to survive it you know if you know what i mean you know so just uh just take it as a survival factor as an adaptable factor that yes after some time you're going to survive okay and then <coughs> uh and people and and being sweaty is normal over here like no one is going to say that oh man he or she is like sweating you know and he is sweating it's very normal over here everyone knows that that you're in darwin and it is going to happen so uh it's just a quick tip from my side that being in darwin you need to uh, keep in mind a couple of things that you need to take care of your eyes maybe you need to be with your uh, glasses all the time maybe you need to just nourish your eyes have some good amount of water you can even wear a hat 
or a cap just to protect yourself cover yourself from the tanning and all those things just to protect yourself from the heat try to hydrate yourself have water as much as possible so again i want to burst out this myth that darwin is hot absolutely it is hot but it is not that hot that you won't be able to survive over here you know and then again it is the the time which is going right now i i, I went for a morning walk today and believe me it was such a pleasant weather it was such a pleasant weather that if this weather remains over here 24 into 7 you know 12 months a week 12 months a year i'm gonna stay in darwin i'm not gonna leave darwin if it that happens but i know that is not gonna happen we're gonna move ahead to wet season as well let's see how wet season is gonna be but i have heard a lot of reviews about wet season as well that there's the humidity is gonna increase by 80 percent and you know it's even my my mentor was telling me that it's too tough to even move from one place to another and you'll be sweaty once you are from your school and then you have to move to your car you'll be sweaty all these are the things that i just hear on daily basis so let's see how it is gonna be but i'm talking about dry season over here it is hot but not that hot that you won't be able to survive anything for your permanent residency and completing your points all right let's move ahead to the third thing which is about crocodiles okay see you must have heard that darwin is full of crocodiles there are lots and lots of crocodiles over here i also heard that i was also afraid about it when i moved before moving to darwin but when i moved to darwin uh in my life i i, I went I've, I've 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 never seen crocodiles or maybe i've seen one or two crocodiles in real, real life back in india in some zoo or something like that but then i i didn't realize that how dangerous they are i went to crocodile park over here i've even a vlog for that i can even put that the link of that in the description box you can even watch that and then i realized that how dangerous they are most of the people they are not able to survive most of the people are not able to survive if uh, if you are being attacked by a crocodile that's that's how it is so <coughs> see in i'm talking about dry season again again in dry season there are no crocodiles obviously you're not allowed to go to the beaches over here you can't go and swim and play over there because of these because of the fear of these crocodiles and the starfish as well so there are banners over there that you're not allowed to go inside in inside the water because again because of the safety reasons so um, obviously obviously there are crocodiles i won't say that but you won't see crocodiles on roads like that you won't see crocodile everywhere or near you or around your house or something like that and then i was yesterday i was stand not yesterday a couple of days ago i was standing i was just you know with a couple of my colleagues in the school and over there they were just talking and we were talking about crocodiles and then she said then they they was they were talking that uh, there are news about crocodile there's one mall over here which is near Casuarina. in the parking area they saw a crocodile again in the beach area they found a crocodile and in the wet season there are going to be a lot of crocodiles and then i again i saw on tiktok one video that what you have to do if you see a crocodile because a uh, wet season is arriving in darwin obviously if i will ever come across a darwin that would be my last day obviously i can't survive uh, i don't think so i i don't think so but then they were telling the tips that what you have to do if you ever see a crocodile but then you know what it's i won't say that there are lots and lots of crocodiles over here it, it really depends it could be with anyone man so you can't say that Cro darwin is having crocodiles lots and lots of crocodiles obviously there are but i have never seen a crocodile ever like on a in a bee or in a beach or something like that i've never done i've never seen that obviously i've seen crocodiles in crocodile park but never <laughs> encountered it and if i'll encounter it i'll not be here all right so you can just say that and also talking about swimming and all those things we have darwin waterfront over here so at the waterfront at darwin waterfront you can just go and enjoy and swim because obviously you can't swim at the other beaches but you can go at darwin waterfront and you can enjoy and you know i'll again put that i've been to darwin waterfront i'll again put that link in the uh, description box you can even watch that that's really a good place i, I like that one okay so uh again the fourth thing obviously uh, and that's the last point that I've noted over here that is Darwin is boring many people say that you know uh, uh, and then it's, it's boring it's not lively so again see again I will say that Darwin uh, is having two types of seasons the dry season and wet season I came here in dry, uh, dry season let me tell you there is not even a single weekend not even a single weekend when there is not an event happening over here and all those are the free events there's not at all a single event when there's not at all a single weekend where i mean 
I'm, I'm, I'm getting bored that, oh no, I don't know where I have to go. There's lots and lots of events, lots and lots of markets over here to explore. Mindal Beach markets and events, you know, every weekend there is some event happening. Maybe some Bangladeshi Union and some Pakistani and some Indian and XYZ Thai festival, XYZ festivals are here in Darwin. And then, you know, the um, lots and lots of opportunities to explore things. Uh, and what not and what not so this is what I'm saying that I don't have to think that uh, you know on this Saturday where I'm gonna go on this Sunday where I'm gonna go because I know that anything or everything is gonna happen on this weekend and I will be good to go and I don't have to get bored or something like that so it's a very small place it's a very small place actually a very small place uh, you just need 15 minutes to move from one place to another so you can't see anybody that you got late it's a very small place it's a very lively place especially in the dry season and what else i've written yeah so all these festivals are being celebrated so that's it and and again i would like to mention that i don't know that how it is gonna be in wet season i'll update you with my reviews i'll update you with what i'll come across uh in darwin in wet season but if i talk about dry season man it's too lively it's too lively you just come here and enjoy the things on this sunday as well like on this sunday again an event on the not on this sunday on this saturday again an event is happening where i have to go with something related to india india at mindil and then on that other you know the next the upcoming one the next one there is again some event where which is happening again i have to go there so lots and lots of events you have to enjoy things be passionate about enjoying things you you will find some good things here in darwin do feel free to message me on instagram to mess to dm me on instagram and feel free to uh, ask your queries in the comment section one more thing i also teach ielts and pt if you're interested to learn about ielts and pt if you're confused that in which tour if you're confused between ielts and pt you can also contact me for that i'll put the link in the description box for that as well i hope this video was being helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for giving me love for all the videos that i've been making i'll see you soon in my next video bye bye